Hello and welcome. This video is about super, super trees and would be of interest to anybody in the timber, uh, biofuels, biomass, wood pellets, paper pulp, or remediation of the environment using woody tree species. My name is Jim Barlow. This is my picture. And I'm holding here the crosscut of two polonia logs. This is a four-year-old elite hybrid polonia, which should be a, a diameter you would expect from a, an elite selection. And this is the polyploid clone of that same hybrid. And this is also four years old. And so this video is about the new technology of producing polyploid versions of trees that grow dramatically faster than the best elite hybrids that are the industry standard stock. Polyploidy is a is a process of in the laboratory, in a tissue culture uh, laboratory, of causing uh, plant tissue, the cells in plant tissue, to duplicate or to synthesize a duplicate set of their own chromosomes and having a, a, a duplicate set so this would be the standard clone mother and then when you induce this duplicate set of chromosomes the resulting clone is more robust and it's bigger physically, it has bigger leaves and it grows much faster and I'll show you why. This leaf is the uh, standard leaf of a, of a uh, hybrid. This would be the normal size and this is the robust leaf of a polyploid clone of this mother uh, plant here. So the polyploids have twice the surface area for uh, photosynthesis and for gathering carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and fixing that into photosynthate. But that's not the only reason why they grow faster. In the, in the polyploid plant, the very process of photosynthesis is accelerated and more efficient. In a polyploid plant, the, the photosynthesis uh, uh, process captures more carbon dioxide per unit area of leaf and is 50% more efficient than in a non-polyploid plant. So imagine a leaf that is twice the surface area and that leaf is 50% more efficient at gathering carbon dioxide and fixing that into photosynthate, into sugars that become wood, oil, sugars in the plant, which would be feedstocks for these tree-related industries. Start with the best elite hybrid, Polonia. And this, um, this tree is 15 weeks of growth from when it was coppiced here at the root. And this is what grew in 15 weeks. And that's excellent for this elite hybrid. And that would be this log here. This is the polyploid clone of this same tree growing just a few feet away and this is a dramatic difference in growth rate and it's because the leaves are twice as large in their surface area and they are 50 percent more efficient in gathering carbon dioxide and, and uh, fixing that into sugars that become wood and biomass and so that is how we get this kind of growth in a polyploid tree for the same unit of time. So what, what we're talking about is taking a, a, a good hybrid tree and supercharging that, giving it a double set of its own chromosomes so that there's so much more metabolic activity going on in the plant that the tree is able to suck in much more atmospheric gases and fix that into uh, photosynthates that become wood or oil, uh, sugar, things that you would use as feedstocks in your business. This would be important in the biofuels space. This is me in Africa where I was selecting land for Jatropha projects. Jatropha is an oil bearing uh, seed that you can uh, crush and get oil that you can refine into biodiesel. And so I was in Africa looking for land and looking for uh, selections of Jatropha that we could grow. The problem with the Jatropha industry has been that there has been not enough time to have conventional breeding to get very good lines that are very high yielding. 
most of the seed stock around the world is wild type that just doesn't have the, the yield. So this would be 20 seeds of that wild type Jutropha and the oil will be in these seeds that you could press and refine. So these 20 seeds weigh 8.6 grams. When you take that, that wild stock Jutropha and you polyploid it, you get much larger seeds. 20 seeds air dried weigh 20 grams, more than twice the weight and twice the oil content from the standard seeds. Jutropha, uh, now there are lines of Jutropha available that can go back into all those plantations in area where Jutropha industry failed and replant and get double the yield just on the strength of the polyploid effect alone. This is a, um, a development that it opens the door again to feasibility for Jutropha driven uh, biodiesel operations. So this would be like taking the standard uh, Jutropha seed that didn't even have the benefit of being a hybrid, be like a Model A car, and jumping right away to the supercharger, turbocharged car, and then getting uh, dramatically more uh, oil and growth out of those out of those trees because of the polyploid effect. So this this technology of being able to take any kind of a tree and making it a polyploid and having dramatically faster growth and much more biomass per unit time is sort of a missing link to the profit puzzle for timber, pulp, um, wood pellets, biomass to electricity, and then for liquid biofuels from oils and sugar and cellulose, again the polyploid effect can double the amount of feedstock you can get from plantations in half the time from planting. This technology is is new. Plant breeders have been trying to do this for many decades and it has not been possible to get a stable polyploid in trees. But it's been done and it has now been independently verified by Dr. Andrew Lowe and his team at the University of Queensland. This is a book by Dr. Lowe, Andrew Lowe and his other co-authors. Dr. Lowe has impeccable academic credentials and did this independent uh, verification. His work was published in scientific journals and I do this work by the numbers. I'll use conventional soil analysis reports that show me what minerals are deficient, which are in excess, and from these I design fertilizer programs and also what kinds of bulk materials should be amended into soils. Once I understand the soil chemistry, and we have a program for soil chemistry, my real strength and expertise is in how to create a thriving community of beneficial microorganisms in the soil or in and around roots. The, the um, field of, of applied soil microbiology has been emerging recently in the last couple decades. And today there's very good science that tells us why and how beneficial microbes can do many functions, I won't go into them all here, that cause plants to grow bigger and better in addition to or beyond what you do with fertilizers. It's a whole different mode of action for how to get growth and yield out of plants.